guys! Another lesson na naman tayo. So, ngayon is grade 6 math, quarter 4, module 6. So, module 6 na tayo sa math. And then, ang module 6 natin is making simple predictions of events based on the results of experiments. Okay, so ano yung probability? Is the chance that something will happen? Kapag nag-predict tayo, so ang tawag natin doon is probability. And then, it can be written as a fraction, decimal, or percent. Outcome. Ano naman yung outcome? Ang outcome is a possible result of some events occurring. So, ang tawag natin sa result ng uh, isang event is outcome. And then, meron tayong tinatawag na favorable outcomes. Is the outcome that you are looking for in an experiment. So, ang favorable outcomes is simply yung outcome na gusto mong mangyari sa isang experiment. So, yun ang tinatawag nating favorable outcomes. So, paano ba natin isolve ang probability? Meron tayo ditong formula. Probability is equal to successful outcomes or favorable outcomes by the rent divided by the total outcomes. So, meron tayong activity 1. Flip a coin. Okay, so tayong lahat naman siguro nakakita na ng coin. Okay, so ito yung coin natin. Sa ating coin, kapag i-flip natin siya, meron tayong dalawang outcome. So, meron tayong head at meron tayong tail na outcome. So, ibig sabihin, kapag nag-flip ka ng coin, meron kang dalawang outcome. It's either head or the tail. So, ngayon, meron tayong question dito. What is the probability that we are going to get head? So, ano yung probability na ang uh, result natin kapag nag-flip tayo ng coin is head yung makukuha natin? Paano ba natin siya kukunin or isolve? So, meron tayong formula. Probability is equal to successful outcomes or favorable outcomes divided by the total outcomes. So, ganito yan siya. Probability, heads. Kasi heads yung gusto nating makuha na result, diba? Equals favorable outcomes divided by the total outcomes. So, kung ito yung coin natin, ito yung kanyang tail at ito yung kanyang head. So, tig-iisa lang. Isang head at isang tail. Meron tayong isang favorable outcome. Bakit isa? Kasi head yung gusto natin. Ilan yung head sa coin kapag i-flip mo siya? Isa. So, ibig sabihin, isa lang yung favorable outcome. And then, two total outcomes. Bakit two ang total outcomes? Kasi dalawa yung total outcomes na pwede nating maging outcome. Dalawa. So, Meron tayong isang favorable outcomes at meron tayong two total outcomes. So, paano natin siya isolve? So, based sa ating formula, probability heads is equal to favorable outcomes. Ano yung favorable outcomes natin? One. So, one divided by our total outcomes. So, ilan yung total outcomes natin? Two. So, two. So, therefore, ang sagot natin sa ating what is the probability that we're going to get head is one half. Paano naman kung tail yung pag-uusapan natin? So, ang gagawin natin is same lang sa ating formula, P, probability, tail, is equal to, ilan yung tail natin? Isa. So, isa yung favorable outcomes natin. So, 1 divided by the total outcomes. Ang total outcomes natin is 1, 2. So, dalawa divided by 2. So, kapag tail naman yung hahanapin natin, is ang sagot natin is still 1 half. Or ang ating probability is 1 half. Punta tayo sa ating activity 2. Ang activity 2 natin is roll a die. So, meron tayong die dito. Ito yung ating die. Meron 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, meron tayong question, what is the probability that we're going to get 4? So, ano yung probability kaya na makukuha natin yung 4 sa ating pag-roll ng die? So, meron tayo ditong one favorable outcome kasi four yung gusto nating makuha na sagot or yung ating favorable outcome. So, isa lang yung four natin, kaya one lang yung favorable outcome natin. And then, ang total outcomes natin is six. Bakit? Kasi six ang ating total outcomes or six ang pwede nating maging outcome. So, kaya six ang total outcomes natin. Doon, isolve natin kung ano kaya yung probability na makakuha tayo ng 4 sa pag-roll natin ng die. So, P4 or probability 4 is equal to favorable outcome. Ilan ang favorable outcome natin? 1. 1 divided by our total outcomes, 6. So, ang probability natin na makukuha natin ang 4 sa pag-roll ng ating die is 1, 6. How about getting 2 or 3? So, paano naman? Ano naman yung probability kung 2 or 3 yung makukuha natin? So, ngayon is isolve again natin siya. So, P or probability 2 and 3 or 2 or 3 rather. Okay, 2 or 3 equals ilan yung favorable outcome natin? Dalawa, kasi 2 or 3 ang gusto natin na makuha na result or uh, yes, ang gusto natin makuha na result is 2 or 3. So, si 2 at si 3. So, ilan sila? 
1, 2. So, dalawa yung ating favorable outcome. Divided by our total outcomes is 6. So, 2 over 6 or 2 divided by 6 is equal to 1 third. So, ibig sabihin, ang probability natin na makakuha tayo ng uh, pag-roll ng ating die na 2 or 3 is 1 third. Another question, what is the probability that we're going to get even number? So, ano kaya yung probability na makakuha tayo ng result na even number? So, saan ba yung even number natin? Itong 2, itong 4, at itong 6. So, ilan yung even number natin? Tatlo. So, ibig sabihin, kapag isolve natin siya, P, even, is equal to ilan yung favorable outcomes natin? 1, 2, 3. 3. Tatlo. So, 3 divided by our total outcomes, which is 6. 6 kasi 6 ang ating pwedeng maging outcome. So, divided by 6. So, ang probability natin sa even number is 3 over 6 or 1 half. So, ito yung probability natin na makakuha tayo ng even number. Activity 3 naman tayo, pick me up. Meron tayo ditong picture sa taas. So, meron tayong stars, um, sun, and moon. <coughs> Hayaan nyo na yung drawing ko, hindi ako marunong. So, ang stars natin is tatlo. Ang sun natin is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, ang ating moon is dalawa. Ngayon, meron tayong mga questions. What is the probability that we are going to pick a star? So, ano yung probability na makakuha tayo ng star? So, isolve natin siya. Probability star is equal to ano yung favorable outcomes natin or ilan yung favorable outcomes natin? Ilan yung stars natin? 1, 2, 3. So, ibig sabihin ang favorable outcome natin is 3 over ilan lahat yung ating pwedeng maging result. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 sila lahat. So, that's why ang probability ng ating star is 3 tenths. Another question, what is the probability that we are going to pick the sun? So, ano naman yung probability na mapick natin si sun? So, P or probability sun is equal to ilan yung sun natin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 over our total outcome, silang lahat is 10. So, probability of sun is 5 over 10 or 1 half. So, ang probability ni sun is 1 half. How about the moon? So, probability naman tayo ni moon. So, probability moon is equal to ilan yung moon natin? 1, 2. So, dalawa. So, 2 divided by ilan sila lahat? 10 divided by 10. So, 2 tenths or 1 fifth. So, ang probability ng ating moon is 1 fifth. Meron pa tayong question dito. What shape is most likely to pick and why? So, ano kayang shape dito ang most likely na mapick natin? The most likely to pick up is the sun. Why? Because there are more suns in our illustration. So, mas marami yung sun kesa sa ibang shapes. Kaya, marami tayong or mas malaki yung chance natin na si sun yung mapick natin. And then, ang least naman and why. So, ano naman yung least na mapick natin kaya and why? The least shape to pick is the moon. Why? Because there are only two moons. So, maliit lang yung chance niya na siya yung mapick natin kasi dalawa lang siya sa ating illustration. That's all for today's video guys. Sana may natutunan kayo about making simple predictions of events based on the results of experiments. See you on our next lesson. Bye!